As you enter Bidar town, the last thing you expect is to be taken on a journey back in time. Yet that's exactly the feeling as you walk through Bidar fort. The brick red domes stand witness to the splendor of the Bahamani rulers. Well, right now I'm here at a palace called the Rangin Mahal, built by the last emperor that ruled this fort, Ali Bidar Shah, and it is absolutely beautiful. It's called the Rangin Mahal because of the tile work that lines the entire palace, and it's here behind me as well. The tile works come all the way from Kirman, and there's also some fabulous mother of pearl decoration on the inside. Apart from that, this woodwork, which has lasted all these years, has now become particular to this region, and it's called Bidri. It's absolutely wonderful. After a walk through Rangin Mahal, make sure you go right on top of the palace for a beautiful bird's eye view of the entire expanse of the fort where you can truly appreciate the architecture of the Bahamani rulers. Located at the absolute tip of the state, Bidar is a great way to explore the rich textural culture of Karnataka. This fort here, the Bidar fort, was built back in 1426 by the first Bahamani ruler, Sultan Ahmad Shawali, and it truly is beautiful. The pavilions, the palaces, the battlements, the fountains, the gardens, all of it. It has the perfect makings of an Arabian Nights fantasy. You can only imagine the reverence one felt while offering prayers here in the Sola Kamba Masjid, the masjid built of 16 pillars. It's just incredible. The fact that it's so absolutely white somehow makes it so much more pure. This masjid was built by the first Muslim ruler to settle down here in Bidar, Sultan Ahmad Shah Wali. This mosque is really amazing. It has great light. It also has a great view of the front courtyard and of the palace. And besides that, Everywhere you stand, or rather anywhere you stand, all the pillars are lined perfectly behind each other. So that means wherever you're looking, there's perfect order. After you've been to the Bidar Fort, the next stop has got to be this spectacular location. Here lie enshrined the seven tombs of the Bahamani Sultans. And well, it's just one of those images that's going to stay with you for a lifetime. This magnificent tomb here belonged to the founding ruler Ahmad Shah Wali, and it is the biggest of the lot. Now the painting in this tomb runs all the way up to the ceiling and it's just so intricate and so bright and colourful and the only source of light here is through the two doors. Besides that, what can I say, it just has such a feeling of quiet calm. And legend has it that if you want to make a wish, this is the place for it. If you want to wish for good health, you've got to tie a token of a horse and if you want to wish for a child, it's the token of a cradle. I'm finishing off my day at this mosque in Bidar and it has been a wonderful start to this journey. And now I'm moving on to the next district to explore more of the Bahamani rule. I'm on to Gulbarga.